Viper for Android. It's good stuff. Let's see where to get it here. Go to uh, the official thread is on XDA Developers. If you Google it, it'll be the the first one. And uh, scroll down the downloads. And I have the 2.3.15. That's the one I got and it's working for me. And also while you're here, go ahead and pick up the, the IRS files. <clears throat> I'll show you what those are. And when I first got this, it, it wasn't working. But I had to do some research and, and on that thread, it, it actually shows all the directions that you'll need to, to get it working. But I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now. You might as well get it out of the way. Well, first, let me show you. Well, when you first open it up, it's going to ask you to install the drivers. And the, it may vary by your phone. The ones I used is the Neon, the A9 ones. And um, as you can see, it's, it's not enabled right now. So if I enable it, and go into music, and I just wanted to show you this because um, I failed to do this. To get Viper for Android to work, you want to put on no effects. I was a fine, fine so you're not using any other sound enhancers with it. Ball. So I'm going to see that it's enabled there. But it's not actually processing. I'm going to driver status. It says it's not processing. So to get it working. You got to edit your build prop. And there's three things that need to be edited. It's this LPA decode in the LPA.u stash stage fright. It may be at true. Mine was. Change both those to false. And then another one that I actually had to add because it wasn't there. Let me go into system. Here's the build prop. And where, uh, actually, I had to add it at the end of it. But right there, the tunnel.decode equals false. I had to add that one. So you can hold in on the build prop with the explorer file. File Explorer. Oops. That's what they're at. What they're supposed to be at. The read, write, read, read. After you edit it, it'll change the permissions. So I'm just going to go um, down here. This is how I edited it. And save it with that disk up there. And when you go back out, Reset the permissions. And now I'll go back and play that song. And I'm playing something that's not going to get me copyrighted.
And you notice how much louder it got. It sounds a lot better. So that's how to get that working. And there's. I'll go into the settings. Well, not the settings, but. And I just wanted to show you the the IR the theater where it says the convolver. Now when I enable it, well let me go ahead and disable it and show you what the volume sounds like. And then enable it. And the IR theater is the only one I mess with. go ahead and play, play that song and then mess with the settings now on the on the website it will show you what settings that you should use so you probably want to check that out and you'll definitely you'll be able to tell the difference more in headphones No, it's not processing and the reason why is because whenever I restart this music application goes to a different uh, it automatically goes to the SRS enhance enhancement so I gotta put it back on no effects That's all I got on that. Okay, that's not it. Uh, <clears throat> reviewed the video, and the audio was lagging pretty bad, so I wanted to sh show in, in more, I guess, real time of what the difference is between it being on and off. So there it is. Enjoy.